we have idea of total differentials, but we also need to know about the concept of the total derivatives. So let us get into this. Um, we are assuming that we have a function which is that y depends upon x and it depends upon w as well. But further, if x depends on w, then the situation will be slightly different. Uh, because there are two functions and they are intertwined, mixed up with each other, overlapping. Therefore, we um, have to find the total derivative because there is not just one rate of change. So, there is not just one rate of change, there are multiple rates of change. In this case, there are two of them because uh, x uh, y is dependent upon x and w and w is determining x or in other words x is further dependent on w so let's try to understand this with the help of a channel map in which we will try to understand how various uh, variables are related primarily x is affecting y through function f as we can see here w is also affecting y through function f as we can see here, but w is affecting x through function g. This is something we have written here that w is affecting x through g. So, I can write this in a combined way after uh, making this map in which all of the relationships are getting clear and I can combine them. I can combine them in this way that instead of x I am writing its given function which is g of w. If I do this, I understand that w is the main variable this which is affecting x as well as y. So, w is the ultimate source of change in the given function. Now, there are two channels through which the effect is taking place. Even if you remember this uh, chart, you see that there is direct effect of w and indirect effect of w. w is indirectly affecting y via function g that is it is affecting x through function g which is further affecting y through function f whereas the direct effect of uh, uh, w on y is through w is directly affecting y through f. So, the direct and indirect effect is there on y of w and y x is also affecting separately. So, here the details are written um, that y is dependent upon another function that is g w in which x and w will be there. Here we have written both of them turn by turn. So, if I try to apply the d derivative on it, it will be the chain rule because w is affecting x and x is affecting further y. So, this is how we can explain because there are three variables and there is a need for chain rule because there is auxiliary dependence or indirect dependence. We have understood the chain rule in the uh, previous videos and if you do not remember, you can consult it from there. This uh, derivative can be written like this because this is the main function y and it is getting differentiated with respect to x. So, it is f of x whereas, d x over d w remains as it is because there is no suitable notation for it. Then we talk about the direct dependence of w of y on w. So, for that we can simply calculate the derivative as it is and that will become the function uh, f derivative of it with respect to w f w. So, the total derivative will be the effect in direct way as well as in the indirect way. So, both of the ways will be collected and we will get the total derivative. It is for this function in which w is there and x is there as well, but in terms of w. So, um, y is here the overall effect of w in direct and indirect way on y and the w with its direct effect 
and this is the indirect effect of W via X. Let me uh, rewrite it here. This is the effect of W on X which will further affect Y. So, this is how the indirect effect is generated. Basically, it is the sum of whatever we have done above the direct and in the indirect way. So, this is the formula that we can use in order to understand uh, the indirect effect as well as the direct effect. There is one important point that we must remember and it is that if this is the formula, uh, I can write it in a more detailed way like this. It, it remains the same this term. f of x is written like this and it is also correct and f w is written like this. So, if I write it like this, it seems as if these two terms are the same, but they are not. Here y is being differentiated with respect to w using the ordinary derivative and here it is differentiated with respect to w uh, using the partial derivative because it is now considering that y is dependent upon x as well as w. So, partial derivative will be used. Here it was just a function of w. So, we had the ordinary derivative that is d over w. So, this is the difference between the two derivatives. One is the total derivative as you can see and other is the partial derivative. So, this is an example here um, y is a function of uh, x and w and further w is a function uh, w, x is a function of w. So, uh, you can see x and w both are here and only w is affecting x in this second function. This is the formula that we derived and this formula is something we are going to use. For this we need f of x and f of w which are calculated one by one here. For f of x uh, I have taken the derivative of uh, the function y which is equal to 3 and uh, for f of w I have taken the derivative of the function with respect to w that is the same function and it is w. So, I get this value. So, I note this value and d x over d w is something I need here this is the third term and I found this that is um, since it was the ordinary derivative therefore, the answer was uh, calculated by using the ordinary derivative. I must mention here that it is the ordinary derivative because it is based on this function which is only the function of w and there is no other variable. So, it is therefore, one independent variable and therefore, we have a ordinary derivative. An ordinary derivative is used. So, these are the three values that are to be substituted in this formula and here we put the values 3 this value and that value are simply the substitution into this formula and we get this answer. So, this is the total derivative of y with respect to w. Now, we can verify this and verification is by substitution because you know the given main function was in terms of x and w here you are and the other function was in terms of w only. So, I can put this value here instead of x here I have done so and the answer would be in terms of w only because we have replaced x with w. This is what we have done. So, now we have a function which is only one independent variable 
and I can do ordinary derivative this is why you can see d that is d y over d w d y of d w the derivative answer is this. So, it is same as we found by using the total derivative formula uh, above was 10 w plus 3 and it is again 10 w plus 3. So, this is another way of verifying it actually uh, you should use the total derivative formula which is slightly complicated, but you know I have tried to explain it and then once if you do it you can do the verification. This was the process of solving it and you can do the verification uh, once if you have solved it and that is by substitution. We have done substitution here. by substitution we have been able to do it. So, this is how we use the total derivative formula uh, and now after this uh, we will try to apply it on economic situations. Thank you.